So we have a condition here that you're familiar with, steatosystoma multiplex, not something you see all the time. But you can see as we pull the skin tight, these little tiny sacs that are underneath the skin. Usually they're very superficial. We'll sometimes do lidocaine. Uh, sometimes if he's feeling a little bit, we'll put some in. A lot of people we don't do lidocaine for. They're so near the surface, they pop right out. So we're gonna uh, get started here and just kind of pop these out and try to clear this. So when he goes to the beach in the summertime, he's gonna have a smooth chest. <laughs> so we'll get y'all set up here. I'm gonna do a couple little pokes down here. We're gonna get started here. Start with the bigger ones, little tiny pokes. Kind of feel that it'll pop through. Call these vellus hair cysts. A little pressure side. This actually looks like just a little blackhead. It's not real creamy. That's good. Here you can see that's the cream of, of a steatocystoma. And that's a good difference. You can see he had a little blackhead there and possibly just a little follicular cyst, which I've also taken out a couple on him before. We'll see if we get yellow cream. We got a little bit at the end, so we'll see if there's a sac in there. That's why they call these butter cysts, because it looks like butter. See, he's caught right out, a little pressure. Sometimes it's getting the sack out that can be just a little tender, so. There's ingrown hair right there. You can see that was down in that one. Commonly, you'll see hairs in there. And not always do we get a sack out. Sometimes you just won't see much of a sack either. I try, but if they don't come out easily, we will sometimes just drain and get those little hairs out for them. Yeah, I get much of a sack on those. Very good. Try a Q-tip on some of these as well. Sometimes you'll get a good pop on them. That was a hair plugging that there, and then you can see the cream right behind it. So a pretty good plug right there. Not too painful at all, right? Okay, perfect. You can see quite a bit in that one. Different consistencies from one to the other. Sometimes more hair, sometimes less hair. That's very common to see all those different types. The good thing that you instantly see is the bump gone. And that's what bothers people a lot is being able to see those bumps. So it's a common question. Do you take the sack out every time that I hear? And the answer is no, not every time. Um, if it comes out easily, you know, I try to get them out, but sometimes you'll cause an indentation and it may take years for that sack to refill and then you'll have indentations instead of bumps. And sometimes people don't like the indentation. They don't like it more than they didn't like the bumps. So that's something you want to keep in mind and talk with your patient about. Let's see on this big one if there's a little sack there. Sorry, a little hair pull there. <laughs> yeah, this is these sacks. I don't see. He's had others we've got sacks out of, but these ones, not seeing much of a sack there, which is good. 
less painful that way. <laughs> I also just use the very tip of an 11 blade, so we're not leaving much of a scar. At all. Feel the pop on that one. Moving right along. I always come from different angles here. Making sure we got that little pocket clear. Good. Looks like it. It's looking better already. <laughs> That's one we didn't get yet. Got a couple other big ones and a couple blackheads here we're going to get thrown to. Then just a little loosening right here on that blackhead. Pop that out for me. That actually hurts less than the shot, believe it or not, if we were infusing in a lot of Lido. <laughs> There's a little blackhead here we'll get out for him too. Right there. Rolled up hair in there. So you can see that dark hair right there that was kind of rolled up. Try to comb Bella's hair, sis. Good. And you'll hear some doctors talk about sometimes the wall can reabsorb if it's a very thin wall um, that they will go away and not return. Sometimes they return. You never know. Time will tell. Little black head here it looks like or an ingrown hair. Right there. Very good. Just be an older one dried up. You can see the hair in the middle there too. Here. Little black head right here possibly. Very nice. Looking good. It's a lot of the big ones. We get these two small ones right here. You can see it, the skin level, it doesn't look like much there. You really kind of got to have a good eye to see that slight raised area. And we roll that out. There we go. There we go. And you'll see some of these ones that are drier. There's still hair in there. They could just be an older one drying up. Yeah. Just a small one there, coming out of two pores. Very good. Mm -hmm. Times you really gotta pull the skin to even see them. It's got a little cluster here and we're almost done. These little teeny tiny ones I really don't mess with. They may stay like that for years. It's the ones that are one step up, I like to get out. Those are the ones you see. That one's a little bigger. Getting the bottom out there. Good. I know the TV's loud, huh? <laughs> Got that one already. Right here. And you can see these little dots where that tip, just the tip of the 11 blade, it's almost like just getting stung by a bee. Very small, aesthetically, especially on the chest of a guy that's gonna take a shirt off at the beach. I want to leave the least amount of scars possible. He's had a keloid here before from prior removals. 
that we injected, but this should be good. I don't think he's gonna keloid from any of these. Little ingrown hair there. It's just a hair. Hmm, maybe a dissolved blackhead too. Dang. See how dark that was. A little blackhead right beside it here. Might as well pop that out over here. There we go. Go back and check some of the bigger ones, make sure there's nothing else in there and they all look good. I think that's the one we hand squeeze, so I'll come back with the tips sometimes. Just to get, see if we have extra there. Looks good. Yeah, I'd say 50 pokes is probably pretty good for one day. <laughs> I'm pulling the skin here. We really don't see too many others. There's a couple small ones, like a little one right there. They're medium. I'm going to get this one, and I see one other, and then that should be it for us today. I think we've said that like 10 I know, hours. right? <laughs> That's my problem. I am a perfectionist, and if I see one thing, I can't walk away from it. <laughs> Good for the patients, bad for lunch, though. Huh? <laughs> and there was just one other that I saw. Then we'll... Let's get... I'm all about the same size a lot of these. There was one here. One we poked, I see now. That's why I try to keep my fingers on them when you poke so many times. You're like, did I poke? I don't know. So he does have some follicular kind of cysts here too. That's another one. Right there. All right, looking good. We can call it a day on that one. You may have a couple small ones, but they're even hard to see. I don't see any there. So you can see when you get up, when you're clean here, you can see the aftermath kind of where I wiped them off. <laughs> you can see here quite a bit. You're going to leave lighter, that's for sure. Quite a few. Probably count most of them there too. I'd say 40 to 50 that we got for you. So it's going to look great, man. You're ready for the summer. <laughs> thanks. <good>. Yeah, thanks <laughs> again for sharing. And that was Seattle Sistema Multiplex. Thanks for popping by, guys.